Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 9, Leçon Q. And in this lesson we'll see together les liaisons interdites. So remember les liaisons, it's actually this little link that we can put between the words when we read or when we speak. Okay, so in the previous lesson we saw les liaisons, so the one that you have to do, okay, so the rules that you get to follow if you really want to make this liaison properly. And then in this video, well, we'll try to see uh, the one that you shouldn't do, okay, because in some cases it's not possible to make this liaison. Okay, so let's see now. And the first one is actually the maybe the most important one because uh, normally students tend to make this mistake quite often at the beginning, which is totally normal because if you think about that, uh, we've got this E conjunction, so it means and in English, okay? And so normally students tend to think that when you've got, you know, lui et elle like that, Well, why not put this little liaison between the two? Because it would be quite logical. After all, we tend to make it and to put it, you know, a little bit everywhere. But in that case, sorry about that. The rule is really strict. So after this conjunction E, like we've got here, you don't make any liaison. So no links after E. Okay, so if you want to read it correctly here, it will go like lui et elle. All right, so don't think about putting something between the two. Don't think about producing something like lui et elle. No, 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 nothing here. Lui et elle. Okay, and it will be exactly the same thing in this example here. Toi et eux. All right, so no liaison, even if it's a bit tempting because it would be possible, but then no, 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 no. So when you get this A, remember no liaison after, okay? Then after that, we've got this structure or this possibility in which you've got a question like here and here, okay? And you start your question with an adverb. Okay, and that's of course what we call adverb interrogatif because it's a question. So, comment, how, as-tu, okay, so do you have, okay, or have you? But in that case, remember that if you start with an adverb like here, so avec un adverb, don't make the liaison. So you don't say, comment as-tu, no, 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 nothing here, comment as-tu, all right? Exactly the same thing here. Quand, when, and then ont-ils, here you've got this little thing, quand ont-ils, quand ont-ils, all right, so you don't make a liaison here between the two, okay, it was the second rule. And then remember that if you've got a noun, and if this noun is at the singular form, then you shouldn't make the liaison. Like here, for instance, un chien, a dog, adorable, okay, here, It would be tempting to do it, but then no, no liaison, so un chien adorable. Okay, same thing here, une maison étrange. Okay, house, and then étrange, strange. Une maison étrange, un chien adorable. Okay, remember, you shouldn't make any liaison here after this word and after this word. And then, if you've got this participe passé form, so it does mean that whether it is at the, like here or here, it is at the passé composé form, all right? So, ils sont sortis, okay? So, if we take the time to have a look at it, here you've got first être, and here you've got the participe passé form, and the whole thing gives you this passé composé, okay? Exactly the same thing here. So, we've got the, uh, the verb, but être, to be, and after that, here we've got this participe passé form and this form together give you the passé composé form, okay? So in that case, if you think about uh, what we said, so après le participe passé, so if we spot it, this is the participe passé, sorti, and this is here, the participe passé, and well, both end with S, so it would be possible to make a, to make a link, you know, between S and R here, and 
S N R U here. But then the rule is quite strict. You don't make a liaison after your participe passé. Okay, so ils sont sortis à 15 heures. All right, so no liaison here, no link between the two. Ils sont sortis à 15 heures. Exactly the same thing here. Elles sont allées au cinéma. All right, elles sont allées au cinéma. So no liaison after your participe passé here. Okay? And then, well, a quite important thing as well, après un verbe conjugué avec tu. Many persons send me messages regarding this thing when I do the, the, the uh, conjugation and when I conjugate the, the verbs. They say that, you know, it's try quite strange because you don't make the liaison uh, when it's for tu. Well, just because it's, well, it's a rule. You shouldn't make the liaison when you conjugate a verb at the to form, okay? Don't ask me why, <laughs> because basically there's no logic in that, you know? Uh, it's just the way it is, so that's one rule, and uh, honestly, it, it's a bit strange. I know, especially when you're learning language, for what reason, only for one person, you shouldn't make the liaison, but unfortunately for you, that's the way we do it, so let's respect the rule. So in that case, if you look at uh, the sentence, so you've got first your subject, so tu, and then here you've got a, okay, and so this is the verb être, and the second form, so second person of the singular, so tu es admirable, all right? And in that case, well, don't make the liaison, okay? Tu es admirable. And it will be exactly the same thing here. Tu parles avec nous. So no liaison here between parle and avec. Okay? Tu parles avec nous. All right, so that's the rule. When you've got a verb at the tu person, okay, so second person of the singular, don't make a liaison after the verb. All right? And then when you've got these interesting structures, so if we've got the, the, the pronoun, so the subject, and it's after your verb, like here, because normally that's the way, I mean, that's the official way that we should, um, well, you, we should respect if we want to ask a question, first we should put the verb, then we should put the subject, okay? So, veulent-il? All right, so it should go like that. And then if you've got, well, something after, like here, aller avec nous, okay? It could be possible if you think about that. We've got an S here and then we've got a vowel after. But then the rule goes like that. If you've got this structure, so in which your pronoun is coming after your verb because it's a question, then you don't make the liaison, okay? Veulent-ils aller avec nous? Okay, exactly the same thing here. Parle-t-il en anglais? Okay, so no liaison after your pronoun. Okay, just because the structure is like that. First you've been having your verb, then your pronoun, then you don't make a liaison. And another rule is if you've got, like here, ses ordinateurs, or like here, mes étudiants. Okay, so in these two sentences, ses ordinateurs, it's the subject, okay, mes étudiants subject, and then you've got the verb coming after, all right? And so the concept or the idea is that if you've got a subject like that, but then it's what we call a group nominal, okay? So in that case, it's not a first name, or then it's not a pronoun, je, tu, il, etc. But it's, you know, a word or a group of words. And in that case, you don't make a liaison after this group nominal. So in that case, ces ordinateurs, you don't make the liaison between this word and the verb that will come after. Okay? Ces ordinateurs ont, and the sentence continues. Okay? Same thing here. 
mes étudiants apprennent. And the sentence continues. So the concept is quite strict. Remember, you've got your subject, so it must be something like that. Okay, so you've got group of words. Okay, and after that, you won't make the liaison with the verb. Okay, and then this is quite interesting because it's what we call un H aspiré. Okay, so for instance, in this case, well, I did put that in a big letter because it's a place in uh, Paris. Okay, so, but in that case, still, even if you've got this H, okay, it belongs to this aspiré group of words. So containing this H, okay, and it means that you won't have the possibility to make the liaison between your article and your word. So in that case, you shouldn't make the liaison, so you shouldn't say les halles, but it sh you should say les halles, okay, les halles. Same thing here, H. Uh, well, it's an X, okay, and in that case, it's the, the plural form. Les H, okay, les H, okay, so you don't say les H, but you say les H, all right? So I did write two other examples. In that case, harpe, so the musical instrument, instrument. Des harpe, okay, so you don't make the liaison between the two. Des harpe, and the last one, hiérarchie. De hierarchy. Okay, so just to show you that it's not only with a, because I've got three examples with a, but then in that case it's e. Okay, de hierarchy. All right, so no liaison here, 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 and here. All right, because these words are starting with what we call h aspiré. And that's it. Okay, so if you want more videos, youtube.com slash imagier or the website is waiting for you, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye.